things from MSS Projects Analytics. This Primavera P6 training tutorial demonstrates the use of retained logic versus progress override when scheduling progressed activities. In this example, we're going to focus on activities B and C. As we can see, activity B has a finish to start relationship with activity C. In other words, according to this network logic, activity C should not start until activity B is finished. So let's status activity B. Let's say activity B started, it, but it has not finished. It still has four remaining days of duration. I'm now going to status activity C out of sequence. So I'll say that it started and that we have two remaining days of duration. So once again, activity C, according to the network logic, should not have started since activity B has not been completed. I'm going to the Tools Schedule dialog box and I'm going to click Options. This is where you identify what your preferred method is for scheduling progressed activities. We're going to start with an example of retained logic. So I'll select retained logic and close. Then I'm going to change my data date to January 28th. And I'll click schedule. As I can see, when scheduling using retained logic, the activity that starts out of sequence cannot complete until its predecessor has finished. So the remaining duration of the successor activity which in this instance was two days for activity C, is scheduled to begin after its predecessor is scheduled to finish. Let's now do an example of progress override. So once again, I'll go to the uh, schedule dialog box. I'll click the options button and I'll make the selection for progress override. And I'll schedule. When you schedule using progress override, P6 will ignore the network logic and schedule the remaining duration of the successor activity from the data date. So to recap, with retained logic, the remaining duration of a progressed activity is not calculated until its predecessors are complete. With progress override, network logic is ignored and the activity can progress without delay from the data date. Thanks for taking the time to view this Primavera P6 training tutorial.